Okay, this is a thread protector. You'll find these things on a pipe when you buy the pipe, and a lot of people use them as couplers. They're not a good coupler because the thread is not tapered like a regular coupler is. Now, I've gone ahead and cut the thread protector in half. Now I've laid a uh, straight edge across it and you can see from that straight edge that that thread is not tapered. What they did when they made the thread protector is they just cut a thread from one end all the way through to the other end. There is no taper on that thread protector. That's what makes them such a terrible seal. You need to have a tapered thread both on the pipe and on the fitting it goes into. No taper here. Let's take a look at a real life coupling. Okay, here we can see with the uh, coupler the difference. This has actually had threads come in from this side and this side. So they've actually taken a tap and they've run this way and then they've worn another one back that way. And it's a tapered tap. And I'll show you what a tapered tap looks like uh, in a minute. Oh, you can see that down here the thread has a large or smaller diameter than it does up here. And the same on the other side. It's fairly subtle there, but it's there. You know, it has to have that tapered thread for this to be able to seal. Without the tapered thread, it's not going to seal. As another example here, I got a quarter inch pipe thread tap. That's for making that tapered thread. It's fairly obvious that it's tapered. Now here's a bolt tap right here. Now you can see it isn't tapered. Once it gets past this forming set of uh, part of that tap where it's forming the thread, once that thread's done, it's pretty much just straight. But in this, it's tapered. So that's the difference between that, which is a thread protector, which should be pitched, thrown away. Don't use them. They're not the right part for the job. They will just simply leak. Okay, that's it on thread protectors.